So what you're saying is you you don't uh, relax <coughs> enough. Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank First of all, I'd like to acknowledge that I knew you were sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ruin it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> we are supported by Stamps.com. You can do so much when you have extra time and extra money. Think about all the things you could be doing. You could be spending time, I don't know, booking a vacation. You could be spending time uh, painting, writing, learning a musical instrument. You could be buying something that you actually want, like, I don't know, a new suitcase. Who cares? You have extra time and you have extra money and there's nothing better. Are you still going to the post office saying, still paying full price for postage? Well, thanks to stamps.com, you don't have to anymore. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your own computer. You send letters, ship packages, pay less, a lot less, with discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. It's a must-have for any business, whether you're a small office sending invoices, a side hustle, Etsy shop, shipping out orders, or just navigating this hybrid work life. Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. With our promo code MOM, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in MOM. That's stamps.com. Enter the promo code MOM. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. You know we are huge, huge fans of Sattva because we've been sleeping on their mattresses for years now. We've tried them all. We've tried the Luxury Firm flagship line. We've tried the Memory Foam Lumen Leaf line. And we've even tried the Solaire, the one we're currently sleeping on that moves up and down, vibrates, has a zero gravity setting. They're all fantastic. Environmentally friendly products with award-winning customer support. They are there for you, and I gotta tell you, they pass on incredible savings to you. You don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars for a high-quality mattress. You can get a great deal at Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit, and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. All the products are incredible, and they're, I'm telling you, their customer service is amazing. They do mattress takeaway service. So you can give them your old mattress and just sleep on that new Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a classic. Now, if they played that in the club, I mean, I would just be so happy. Classico mama. Yeah, it's a really good huh? one. I know. It's Classico re- mama. Yeah. That, this is jams. I, I love that. Jam city, man. When the farts come in. Oh, man, that makes me so happy. It's a really, I mean, that's from one of the original master farters. Yeah. <laughs> Which one, King, King Ass Ripper? You mean? No, that's a lady. That's a lady. That's that's oh, the lady who farts like that. That's her fart, and then fart she goes, and... "Oh my god!" Oh, you are 
<laughs> she looks over her shoulder. Right, yeah. right. Like, did right. I do that? <laughs> right. No, for some reason, I had her confused with Jules in my head. Ventura. Oh, yeah, no. And her saying was, you have two in you, you have three in you. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. And that one yeah. was, oh, my fucking cunt. Is that Jules? No, it's a whole different lady. Oh you're, going, you're all over the place. Goodness, it all blends together. Yeah, that's a, I don't remember that that lady's name, but she was really sweet. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 oh, oh, my fucking cunt. Mm-hmm. Yep. My cunt. My she cunt, had her, what's cunt. it called? She put her. Jeans in my cunt was the name yeah, of that song. She put her, her, <laughs> hand, her hands and her head through one of those, I don't know the name of the apparatus. Oh. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like it's like an old wooden thing. Yeah, so you're, the medieval time. Yeah, like your head and your thing. hands are through it. Yeah. And then the rack, no. a guy was behind her uh, penetrating her. Oh, that's fun. And then she would say things like, oh, my F and C. Yeah. Oh, that's that's right. I didn't know this was yeah, a lane. Yeah, that thing. That. This is a whole lane in pornography. I don't know, I don't know that it's a lane. I just medieval. think it was uh, a one-off for that scene, but it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Turns out... It's a pretty cool thing to do. <laughs> uh, here's a real exciting thing. We went to Flo Rida and did a live oh show in goodness. front of an audience. And now you can enjoy all the festivities, all the hilarity, all the wildness with us. Go to ymhstudios.com slash rentals this Friday, May 14th. That's when it drops. Uh, we're extremely excited to present it to you. We're extremely thankful uh, for the people that came out, a lot of work went into it, and it's just, it's a fun party, man. It's its like a live show, but it's with the audience there, and we didn't want to stream it live just because, you know, you can run into the chaos of uh, of doing it at a live, in front of an audience and having tech things, so we just oh, thought, figured yeah. we'd shoot it, turn it around, put it up, um, so please join us there. Duncan Trussell joined us. It's a good time. Oh my goodness, the energy is electric, ymhstudios.com slash rentals. Yep. Again, ymhstudios.com slash rentals. It's neat to finally be able to do that with a room full of mommies. A real room full of jeans. Really electric and have everybody reacting at the same That's what time. it's all about. Because like my favorite thing about the live shows is seeing the people like sending in those videos of yes. them watching it. So it's yes. like, well, why don't we just shoot one? Shoot one with a live audience. And the, the enthusiasm was palpable. It was exciting. We know we put those tickets on sale for the, the live Boom. audience. Gone within, what, yeah. an hour or something? Just gone. Do yeah. you want to do my dates since I feel like you don't like the way I do them? I'll, can I tell you something? You do them really poorly. Yeah. I know you don't. Well, teach me. Show me. Okay. Show me. Um, let me show you. All right. This, uh, these are my dates. Okay, can you make it slightly larger? Yeah, see, because he, he also goes real slow. Okay, hold on. Just let him, let me start. All right, this is for Christina. You want to see Christina live? Guess what? June 3rd through 6th, she's in Omaha at the Funny Bone. Then she heads over to Salt Lake City at Wise Guys, June 11 and 12. Then you're in San Antonio at LOL, June 15, 16, and 17. Oh, wow. You move on to Liberty Township in Ohio, of course, at the Funny Bone in July, like the 22nd, that. 23rd, and 24th. And the show rolls on. She'll be at Bricktown in Oklahoma City in September. All the tickets are Christina P. Online. Get tickets now before they're gone. That was really A little good. energy. You yeah. know, this is you. Ready? Go ahead. He hates hot. in Omaha. And I'm going to go uh, Liberty Township. No, it's there, because I'm trying July, to read and five, he's doing six, it slow and he, I can't read. Okay. I'm trying to read and I can't see the cameras blocking. I have a very hard time. Okay. Um, you know what would help? Maybe I should write them down on a paper. Yeah. And that's better. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to be constructive. I feel like you're just looking to drag me down. It looks like you're looking for conflict today. <laughs> if I may point that out. Yeah. We'll get into that after you do your dates. So okay. I will be on the road and I'm very excited to be doing shows in Espanol. If you want to see them June 25th. 26th in Ontario, the next day the 27th in Brea, then I go back to my first language, English um, in August I head over to the Borgata and I hopefully soon will be announcing a big tour with a bunch of dates can't wait, TomSegura.com for those tickets, let's open the show, you ready? I'm ready let's do it <laughs> yeah That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
it big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring any <laughs> mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house oh. with Tom Segura. Oh. Tom Segura. Oh. Oh. Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your dad doing at the pub? Man. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> He's legendary. He is legendary. And uh, is something coming out of his nose? <laughs> <laughs> something hanging out of his nose? It sure oh, seems man. like it. Those last few seconds, I was like, huh. He's in great shape. He's doing well. Do you think he can achieve an erection? <laughs> no. I'm trying to picture you with him in bed. Like, Whoa. And you go, he, do you like these tits? And he goes, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think he's thinking of tits. He's so, oh no, he's way past. Uh, sex. Yeah, he's so pickled. Yeah, his whole life is that glass. The the end. Isn't there something real sad? Dangling uh, here? It's my, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking a. Uh. Wow. Uh. Okay. That's oh. good stuff. Okay. Look at the nose. <laughs> See? Oh uh, yeah. That's Sounds good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh yeah, there's a boogie in <laughs> <laughs> That's good that you noticed that. That's Thanks pretty, for pointing that out. That's pretty cool. I almost missed it. <laughs> He's got his shit together. But I I missed it because I was focused on the chipmunk teeth. Yeah. That was terrifying. Yeah. To me. It's cool to see him out. Last time we saw him in a bar, <laughs> now the bar comes outside, you know? Well, yeah, it is nice, especially because he's hanging out in like a forklift shipyard, <laughs> which is the best place to drink. Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. You want to get sauced? Go to a forklift. <laughs> you remember that your place. pops was like, he, told, he said he had an employee. He was like, he drank too much. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, wait for how much? Yeah. <laughs> it, he was like, oh, he would drink like a gallon a day. Le yeah, yeah, like a big two liters yeah. of vodka. <laughs> and so my dad ran a, <laughs> my father ran a forklift business. <laughs> oh, fuck. In the San Fernando Valley for like, uh, you know, 20 some years. He's retired now. And he would only hire... Romanians yeah, and Hungarians. Eastern Europeans, he yeah. loved Eastern Europeans. Now, they also come with a lot of alcohol issues. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's very common in that, I guess, and I don't know, in his, and I don't know if it's common or maybe he just attracted those kind of dudes. Yeah, probably dudes who are yeah. like, I drink a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so this guy, he's like, this guy's got a problem. And he's like, but I want to save him. I want to, I want to work with him. So uh -huh. I'm like, really? So he, but my dad paid for his rehab. Yeah, yeah I remember. And then the guy ended up working for him again. So he like helped save his life. He but was like, yeah, that guy's a mess though. That guy, that's a mess. Yeah. Legit. Like your dad would be like to this guy, he'd be like, you, you know, it's too much. <laughs> 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 no one can understand you. It's, it's a problem. Well, cause, cause I would try to tell my parents when I was a kid, like, Hey dad, I think you drink too much. Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, come on, I'm not, no. No, this guy is a drunk. And this is what he would point to. Yeah. This guy doesn't have a job. This guy is sleeping in the street. This guy is a fucking <laughs> asshole. That's He's a loser. Only, that's the only type of alcohol. Drunk, alcohol yeah. Catch. It's like fall down, shit hanging out of your nose, two teeth, yeah. drunk. Yeah. So I bring it up. I'd be like, I, I think I think something's going on in my yeah, house. Like, no, Come on, what are you, fucking idiot? Like, yeah. 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 It's fucking amazing. It's pretty cool, man. It's yeah, a pretty cool thing He's got a lot. His fingers are bloated. Like, how do you get... How do your hands get fat from alcohol? Is that common? Is that gout? Can you, or is that just in oh, your I'm feet? sure. Can you imagine what his insides are like? <laughs> oh, like, fuck. If they just did like a fucking MRI, they'd be like, Jesus, man. There's, everything's gone. I know. Like, what? What like, if he's like our age? He's <laughs> like 40 something. Oh my God. Just looks terrible. No, this dude's been going hard at the bottle for, I would think maybe 40, 50 years. At least. Yeah. They should study his body and then make vaccines from him because he's alive. So he, he has great organs. I don't know. To survive like this, it's all pickle. It's quite a legacy. Yeah. yeah. Well, same with my dad. I mean, you go, yeah. here's a man who lived on hard Sausage. alcohol, 
horseradish, yeah. sausage, and never drank water, only drank fresca. Yeah. And he's still alive. Dude, my dad would go when when so <laughs> when I was in high school and like when I was a kid, he came from home from work. You know, it used to be like Olympic lifting. And then it kind of transitioned as he got older into jog, jog, going for a run, right? I can't even see your so dad get, running. Oh, yeah. So, so he would get home and he'd throw on his little short shorts Aww. and a t-shirt and go for a run. Like, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 minute run, something like that. He'd be Good gone for, for a little him. while. He'd come home, <laughs> drink a Diet Coke. <laughs> I'd be like, the fuck? He's like, I'm thirsty. I'm like, you're hydrating with Diet Coke? He's like, it's mostly yeah. water. Like that's some brown water. That is some dad shit. I'm like, ugh, ugh. It doesn't even taste good at when you're. And then we're talking about <laughs> the Florida heat, like 100 percent humidity when you're seriously dehydrated. He's like, <laughs> Diet Coke. I'm I like, know. I know. He's like, I hate water. And then my mom too. She's like, ah, uh, water. <laughs> she goes, water me da nauseas. It makes me nauseous. Like, what? I don't think I've ever seen my dad drink a glass of water. You should see their face when I drink, because I'll drink like a gallon in front of them, and they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's water. It's the foundation of life. I know the earth is made of yeah, water. We're mostly water. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, but it doesn't taste good. It's not supposed, it's not a it fucking birthday taste. cake. Yeah. It's water. <laughs> or, um, but when you look at Diet Coke, especially the kind they were drinking, oh. it's got like that phenyl, phenylamylene lanolin. Have and you then, ever had Diet Coke when you're thirsty? Because it doesn't so satiate horrible. you. It's so bad. <laughs> If you're thirsty and you have it, you're like, oh. And, and fresca, too. Like, what is in fresca? Like, it's all chemical. I'd it's rather so drink bad. vegetable oil than drink a Diet Coke. <laughs> I think it's you know? healthier than a Diet Coke. When I'm, when I'm thirsty, it's fucking so disgusting. Yeah. My dad would play. Well, I think we've talked about this before, that he would go play tennis and drink with his friends. Out of and his mind. Like, and win the tournament. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he was a fantastic player, but... I mean, do, those two things are not compatible in my mind. Like, no. exercise and drinking, it's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. I just fucking pass out. <laughs> I just want to sit down. Like, yeah. I wouldn't want to play. Like, day drinking makes me, if I have a glass of anything in the middle of the day, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to go take a nap. I can't do it. <laughs> I know. I can't imagine getting into a fucking activity at that time. I drink, if I, sometimes I have brunch with a friend and I'll have a glass of wine. Yeah. My my day is ruined. Yeah. Fucking ruined. But that's why I do it on a Sunday because I can come home and take a nap and then I wake up feeling like shit. My day is ruined. Mm -hmm. Horrible. <sighs> so anyways, you are so funny to me. You are, you're in some kind of social media thing again. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, and I, it's funny because I, I know when you're doing this because he gets real, you get really withdrawn you start to secrets and then I see you doing a lot of this shit, like looking at your phone and, and you're like, excited though. No, no. And then this smile, you get your, your Jack Nicholson, you go, the eyebrows raised. I can't raise my eyebrows. I just had Botox, but you got, <laughs> and you're, uh, yeah, that, 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 there it is. Yeah. And that's how I know you've just pissed somebody off on the internet and yeah. you're very pleased with yourself. It's true. You're very pleased. So what's, what's going on? No, nothing. I just, sometimes I just love to, you know, there's like stupid things that people do that I feel like deserve mockery. Like the people that go all out on Valentine's day or something. I'm yeah, like, so huh? dumb. And they're like, this is the, this is the day I've designated. Like they told me. <laughs> to express my love this day. It's like, what? <laughs> you can do that any day, man. You don't have to have a special day for it. I Nothing agree. makes me roll my eyes harder or laugh more than 420, though. 420 to me has always been that, the day, and especially <laughs> when people, because I remember this even in like high school and college when people would look at the time. Hey, it's 420. Yeah. Let's light up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have a special permission now? <laughs> what happens if it's 421? Did we miss the fucking window? To, yeah. to spark this thing up yeah it's like a drinking game too like it's so it's dumb. like I, every time i thought it was i thought it was dumb at 16 i was like what are you i thought it about? was dumb too like one time i played the roxanne drinking game oh it's 420 hold on <laughs> <laughs> fuck you fucking loser so like <laughs> i just like to point out to people that you're a fucking loser well i'll tell you it, it is a loserish yeah. holiday it's a loser behavior of course it's. it is it's, it's not attractive to me personally of i'd be like what are you not. doing with your life what are you doing now if you're if you're in college hey, hey, today's guess what, man? fine it's fine hey it's uh, the, the 420 day i mean it's fine it's 10 25 guess what you can smoke <laughs> weed right now yeah isn't that crazy yeah it doesn't have to be a special time 
Yeah. It's just silly. I think it's fucking, and I, it's, it's sillier when it's an adult. I know a fucking 50 year old. It's like, it's 420 and I'm like, holy shit, man. Fucking delete my number. You're a grown man. <laughs> You're like, it's, it's special time to smoke. <laughs> what? Well, that's that's one of the privileges of being an adult. Yeah, you can Is do that it. you can eat anything you want. Yeah. Get high anytime you, you want. You can sit down for dinner and eat a donut <laughs> if you want to and smoke a joint. And All it could be 7.15 and no one can tell you you can't do it. Well, even this morning I said to you, no, was it last night? I was taking a shower yeah. and I had a glass of wine. I said, guess what? I'm going to fucking drink this. In, in the, the shower. shower, yeah, because I can do what I want. I'm an adult. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't need a special holiday to tell me I can yeah. do stuff. Yeah, and there you were. You were in the shower, and you were like, "I'm <laughs> just drinking in the shower." Hubbly, 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 yeah. Huh? yeah, I don't, I I always felt the need to mock uh, people yes. celebrating because they're told to celebrate. Well, can I tell you what I like about you and what I like about your behavior? Yeah, is that. We should be shaming, mocking stupid things. But yeah. in this era now, you get called, I mean, you're a bully, yeah, and, and, on, and, and we should be accepting of everything everybody does all the time. No. And that's inherently stupid. It is silly. Because there are things that are just bad for society, and, and just bad. Okay, like Demi Lovato, I don't know if you saw this a few weeks ago. No. There's some yogurt shop she frequents. Mm -hmm. She tweeted, we should cancel this yogurt shop because I'm here for some healthy froyo and they have unhealthy sugary things as well. Really? Yes, I swear to God. And so I was like, she did it in her Instagram stories. So it came and it went. And the LA Times published this article that came out a while back saying that people are pushing against Demi Lovato. It's stupid. Uh, uh. This says misconstrued criticism. I'm not sure. No, she was like, you guys should do better. You shouldn't have unhealthy items in the healthy what? frozen yogurt Make store. Make that bigger. Demi Lovato has cooled off after her Froyo controversy. The singer apologized to fans on Instagram after she criticized one Los <laughs> Angeles frozen yogurt shop, The Big Chill, for allegedly perpetuating diet culture with its messaging. <laughs> During the saga, she took aim at the shop for advertising guilt-free cookies and cakes with her writing, this screams diet culture and I won't be gaslit. Oh my God. <laughs> Happy 420, yeah. fuck face. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Get your yeah. fucking shit together, man. Like, Thank the people you. who, uh, yeah, I mean, that deserves absolute Thank mockery. You. But I'm saying that it's time for us to push back on this horse shit. When people are acting crazy, like she's obviously projecting and her by the own way, she, issues on this poor business. That's just what I'm saying. But she yeah. also has the power to destroy that. That's business. what I'm saying. And it's time for people. I'm glad you exist. I'm actually really proud that you're like, hey, guys, this is dumb. We should be pushing back on this because this is now now it's it's jumped the shark. OK, the social justice warriors have officially jumped the shark when we're fucking getting into yeah. the froyo place, not being dietary enough. Yeah, I, it's it's so silly. I mean, this, you know, I I bring up Valentine's so because it, that's also to me like it's such a like it's so is that, problematic. Is that Tom. the one day of the year that you buy flowers or something? They're For like, your... well, it's Valentine's <laughs> Day, and you're like, you know, you can buy flowers all year. Right? I think we should. You can buy a gift. All at fucking any time. Year. Yeah, you can take your wife out for a nice meal all times. So. Nope. February 14th. <laughs> that's the fucking day. <laughs> you can fuck all year. Yeah, you can also, like, you don't need Mother's Day to call oh, your mother. Oh, fuck Mother's Day. And tell her you love her can, and send uh, her a fucking gift. Here's what I don't give a fuck for. Mother's Day yeah. or my birthday. Guess what? I'm working both yeah. of those this year. I, I could give a fuck because you know what happens on Mother's Day? Yeah. I'm still a fucking mom. Dude, on my Listen, birthday, no. I worked and I fucked Jeff Tate and that was there it. There you go. Yeah. How was he? He was great. He's a good lay. Yeah. He's got that full beard, that He's sweet mouth. He's got that beautiful mouth. Yeah. But I'm telling you is that does Mother, Mother's Day means nothing to me because I wake up and I still have to do the same shit I do every fucking day. Because I have two little kids who like me so much more than they like you. And that's not their fault. <laughs> it's totally true. It's totally true. They will not give me the day off. There's no such thing as a mother. I do this thing so every stop morning. Stop with this shit. Every morning to our two-year-old, I go, hey, buddy. <laughs> He's like, Hi. And I go, what'd you dream about? He'll always tell me like, I dreamed about, like he'll say like you, or, and then a lot of times he goes, not you. 
<laughs> like he lets me know that he didn't He's dream not about interested. me. Yeah. With I'm mom. Like, oh, that's nice. With yeah. mom. He's like, with mommy, with Claudia. Yeah. Yeah. You're or he'll say with cars. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be like, I damn what uh with uh McLaren. And I'm like, Oh, that's nice. They love you. No, they do, they do. They, they do, you. but you're just not as important as mom. I get it. Sorry. I totally get it. They like me a lot and they won't leave me alone. So there is no such thing as Mother's Day. There is no day off for mother. That's true. And as well as my birthday, like, do you have people that come to your shows? And I am so happy that they're there. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But that they have to, like, I'll be on stage telling a joke. And then I had this woman in, in some town go, it's his birthday. Yeah. And I was like, what, is he fucking 10? Are we at Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. I don't care. He's, look, he's a 40-year-old man. Yeah. Did you get him a transformer? Yeah. <laughs> what do you care? You're a grown up. I know. Like Shut the, the, the fuck fact up that you're announcing to, to a room full of adults. <laughs> oh my God. Like I didn't even say it. Like I was on stage on my birthday. <laughs> you and, worked. And people yeah. said it. They're like, it's your birthday. And I was like, yeah. And then they all clapped. I was like, anyway. So, and then back to the, you know. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. What are you talking about, man? I know. We yeah. didn't take the day off and. and Birthdays. I mean, it's like, wait, there's 16. Yeah. 18. 18, 21. 21. Go 15 if you're, you're Latin sure. quinceanera. Sure. 13. Once you're 20, what, 30, 40, 50, 60, yeah, the death, big, that's it. Yeah, the big decades, right? That's it. Yeah, and then you hit 100 and you're like, somebody put a <laughs> bullet in my head, please. <laughs> please. Fucking kill me. Right through the temple. Mm -hmm. No, you don't get to celebrate in your, once you're an adult, it, it doesn't work. You, you're a fucking idiot, man. Yeah. Stop with this fake celebration. Now, is it time to smoke yet? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Just because how stupid they are. Hold on. Wait. Two more minutes and I'll light it up. <laughs> Just fucking light it up, man. Yeah. What are you doing? We are supported by DoorDash. Did you forget that one thing at the store? Now you can get snacks, drinks, household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. Dinner, check. Deodorant, check. Morning pick-me-up from Dunkin', check. Get everything you need whenever you need it with DoorDash. You want Chinese food, pizza, froyo, they have it all. New year means a new year, but when it comes to what you're craving, maybe that's still the old you. Yeah, anytime I want sushi, I just go in, I type in sushi, it brings up all the local sushi places, and then I just place my order, and what, within, I don't know, half an hour or so, you got food delivered right to your door in a safe place, they'll just put it down, knock if you want to, you send your preference, they have it all. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. Ordering is easy, open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from wherever you want, and it'll be left safely outside your door with a contactless delivery drop-off setting. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code YMH. That's 25% off, up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code YMH. Don't forget, that's code YMH for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. We are supported by Brooke Linen. A lot of your life is still being lived at home. Then make your home as comfortable as possible. A refuge, an oasis, your personal zen zone. Go ahead and max out on the extra soft sheets, super plush towels, and loungewear. You can get the best of it all from Brook Linen. Brook Linen works directly with manufacturers to make luxury available directly to you without the luxury level markups. So you get their amazing array of products at a reasonable price. Brook Linen has something for every comfort need, ideal for a seasonal refresh because they're launching new products, colors, and patterns all the time. I'm a huge fan of the blanket we sleep with from Brook Linen. It is so soft. Give yourself the comfort, refresh you deserve, and get it for less at Brooklinen. Go to brooklinen.com, use promo code HOUSE to get $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter promo code HOUSE for $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen.com, promo code HOUSE. I'd like to show um, the audience um, a video yeah. Then I took, this is the video I was telling you about, Nadav, if you could go ahead and play it. this. I got oh, it this is for you, Tom. Oh, it is? Sure. Okay. I just want to bring this to your attention. Okay. This is my makeup counter, right? Jeans gets ready here. Yeah. And then, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is not my hair. And it, why is it covering the entire, the entire counter? <laughs> 
it. How did you get this it? This is insane. <laughs> How did you I get didn't it? know that. <laughs> what are you trimming on my uh, makeup area? No, I'll tell you what I did. <laughs> Uh, that's this morning this oh, morning oh shit that's great and okay. i'm putting my makeup on and then i'm finding shrapnel yeah I, i'm it's in my hands and i'm okay. like now there's shrapnel on you my want to know what, it, what happened god please is it pubes because <laughs> no, i rubbed not. it on my face it's not. why did you rub it on your face because it, it ended up in my makeup okay. it's all over here's what <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong here's what happened you? so last night late i decided to <laughs> shave my head and trim my beard and I did it at my sink, right? And it was late. I had already showered. I didn't uh, want to get in the shower again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, sure. So I went over to your area. <laughs> Thank you. And used the hair dryer to blow hair off of my head. <laughs> <laughs> so that I wouldn't have it in bed, you know? Yeah. So that's all the trimmings Thank you. blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that happened. That's really sweet. Hey, of you. 420. Ugh. Wait, so hold on. I'm asl I'm sleeping. Right. You thought it would be a better option to m turn on the hair dryer, which is loud as fuck in our bathroom. Did it wake you up? Next so but Did it wake you you're up? thinking, no. Yeah, uh, did you wake up? No. <laughs> And get my makeup counter all fucked didn't, up. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. I just thought about not bringing that mo those hairs into bed. I didn't <laughs> realize <laughs> that they would coat your counter. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's fine. I apologize. I just can't believe how much. I mean, it's strewn everywhere. I know. I didn't, you know, I didn't see that, obviously. Well, thank God it's not your pubes, because I literally... That'd I had be a to... weird thing to do. Like, I'm going to get her fucking back and just trim my <laughs> yeah, pubes I don't think you would... <laughs> Oh, so or just crazy. do it because I like I said I had my makeup I was rubbing on my foundation today yeah. and it, those little hairs ended up on my face and I'm like oh god I hope these aren't oh god pubes on my face yeah not that I care actually what do you if, think is what do you think is grosser boogers flicked in your car or hair trimmings on your counter oh fuck hair trimmings on my makeup or, counter really because all this shit that you see all these products go on my face you didn't on say my anything eyes. to me today that's why I secretly. You were downstairs making fitness, Fergilicious. Yeah. And I made this video secret like, and I just sent it to Zolo. I go, We're going to get him, Zolo. We're going to fucking get him. You got just me. Just kidding. I didn't say anything. You got me. Um, I just wanted to surprise you because it was funny. Yeah, that's funny. I did not Can know. Can I tell you what happened? So that there's a box there. I'm, I'm so excited to finally wear earrings again. I yeah. pierced my ears. I ordered a set from the, the fucking from Nordstrom. They sent me one earring. What? One earring. And I called them and I go, hey, dude, I think, I think you guys forgot an earring. He goes, no, no, that's how we sell them. One? I'm like, that is the most absurd thing I've, I've never heard of that. I thought it was always a pair of earrings. <laughs> of course. I mean, unless you go, no, 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 I only want one. <laughs> no. Yeah. It was absurd. I thought, who the fuck is selling? Uh, it was just so bizarre. So I, I on principle, I'm going to return that fucking thing. Yeah. Because I'm so mad. That some company has the audacity to serve to to fucking sell me one earring. It's and he says it's common with who the guys. Well, no, I mean, Men? I mean, no, I I don't. I mean, I definitely don't buy earrings, but I'm just saying like that's a that's a normal. They, they do like the asymmetric look, you know what I mean? So it's like oh, because there's some earrings that wouldn't look good if you did both. It's just better if it kind of separates the face. Oh. So it's, it's like a it's a stylistic choice, but I mean, did it look good? Did it pop? No, it was too small. I made my earlobe look tight, like fat. Uh, it's hard to explain. It was a hook. It wasn't good. Uh, uh, but I felt very gypped. I felt very betrayed. Mm, that's and a, I not felt, a PC term, just so you know. Oh, gypsied? Should I say the full <laughs> word? It's incredibly disrespectful. <laughs> So I'll, um, let me. I'd like to apologize to the gypsy community who's listening to this podcast. Yeah. No. There's a horrible history behind that expression. What the fuck fancy water cup is this? Claudia gave it to me. Oh, that's so sweet. Is there cum? For my there? born day. For, is there cum in here? Yeah. Watch. Mm. <laughs> mm. You're just drinking cum right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. <sighs> Somebody's doing that right now. Yeah. They're like, this gives me all the vitamins I need. Lovely gift. Thank do you. Do you think, hold on, do you think you're famous enough that you could sell your cum? I mean, to someone. <laughs> I'm sure someone would be like, I'm in. 
And I don't think it would be a cool chick. It's definitely a guy. It's definitely fine. a Come. guy. I was like, I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guys, if you're interested in purchasing your Ugh, cum, No, I'm not going to send you my cum. But what if we made it proprietary and you put it in it a is proprietary. protein shake? Ugh. What? No. No, like that Like that wrapper. He put a, a drop of blood. Who's the guy that put a oh, drop Lil of blood? Oh, Lil Nas X in the, in yeah, the shoe. What if you just have a drop of Tom Segura's cum? In what? In a protein shake. No, that's going to fucking make people sick. But you're always talking about how much you load, how big I, your loads I are. I mean, you can verify that. <laughs> Stop. Don't even. What happened? Stop it. <laughs> you know, that's why I'm a little confused as to why you wanted to like rile people up today. Like we had a pretty spectacular night last night, you and me. Okay. And then it just seems like an odd choice. Like we had this fun night, positive energy. Mm-hmm. Kids are happy. Everyone's happy. And then you're like, I'm going to fuck someone's day up. On <laughs> That's how I feel alive. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. But there's certain things I have to do to feel alive. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, one, I mean, I have to, I have to eat food, feel alive. I have to express love to feel alive. I have to have sex to feel alive. And then I have to fuck somebody up to feel alive. <laughs> you know? And, and, and I have to do some form of exercise to feel alive. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a very ma- male thing, the yeah. need to fuck someone up, as you say. Because I, I see it in our boys. I just need to, yeah, I need to provoke at some, I need to just be like, hey. Man, you know? I, yeah. hey, they say gender doesn't exist bullshit, yeah. not until you have kids. You see that from day one, the difference. Well, as a Latinx, I can tell you. <laughs> You know what the, one of the most fun things about touring in Spanish is? <laughs> is making a mockery of Latinx or Latinx to Latinos, because that's what we are, and having them all celebrate <laughs> with laughter at how stupid that, yeah. that term is. Like, I get to do it in Spanish. It's amazing. To Latino people, and they're like, that's a fucking stupidest shit. Like, we're they, doing it in our language. And they, were, they totally yeah. get it. It's great. It's so fun. Good for you. Yeah. I bet that feels real nice. Oh, if I fucking open with it. Yeah. So I take it back because I I also love pushing back on. Yeah, dumb, of course you do. I mean, All look, comedians my do. tour is called the Pushback Tour. Tickets yeah. at ChristinaPOnline.com right now. And I think there's there's a few meanings to that. Yeah. The, the nonsense that's going on right now in society. Yeah. There, it's fun to shit on it a little bit. Of course yeah. it is. It's good fun. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. <sighs> I feel really, really guilty about That's that. Fucking amazing. Um, so I should say because we talked about birthdays, that you know, back on Bert's birthday, I got him a really nice e-bike. Yeah, that was a fortune. And he flipped for it, like he loved it, and and then he brought out how we're just going to do it for each other, but always one up at least. You oh know, my god, you guys are going to with go. uh, the price. So my birthday, he got me a fucking sea do. Which is a, you know like a jet ski. I saw the memes. And they're great. Yeah, they're great. And I mean, it's just so cool. I'm so thankful. Like I, you know, I never would have expected that that that's what he got. It's so crazy. Why? Can I ask you a stupid question? Yeah. Why is it called a sea do deal? You know, somebody said, and I don't know if this is true or not. Somebody said that it was supposed to be called a sea dog. <laughs> I like that better. And that they misspelled. Somebody misspelled it or misheard it. And then it stuck. No. Yeah, like that's what they said. Branding wise, I don't know if that's a true story or not. I mean, we always called them, like, kind of blanket labeled them jet skis, but but Sea Do is specific to this brand and type. Right. I actually had a kid in my school. Is that cr- correct? Um, oh, you're right. Ski yeah, dog. Pretty close. Oh, a ski dog. Dang, homie. Huh. Used to be meant to be called ski. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, you did. That was right. Um, it's always stories like that that are true. The weird thing. That was ski do. Ski do. That's huh? a snowmobile. Oh, okay. ski do. Ski uh, do. Yeah, those things rip. So I had a yeah, world champion uh, racer in high school. Ski do racer. Like he you was, had one I, in my class. Wow. So he would race these. Like he was one of the best in the world at this. Did he modify it to go 100 miles per hour? <laughs> I mean, he he was like a maverick on on this thing, you know. Like you think you know what you're doing on that, 
And then you see someone like that do it and you're like, oh shit, it's like with a car. Crazy. Like you think you can drive and then you get you go to a track with like a pro racer and you're like, oh. Now you know? are there sea do competitions? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was a, he was Are a you champion. kidding me? Yeah. Is this like ultimate frisbee where people frisbee? No. And I, I, it seems stupid to me that people It's a race. They're just racing. Oh, okay. Like a car race? You Sorry, know, I've never race. heard of this. Look, I'm not I'm not Yeah. Nobody does this. It, it, I don't know. Yeah, these guys are like in the valley growing look, up. Nobody fucking sees. Look at dude. these maniacs. They're probably going fucking eighty miles an hour. That right is there. wild, dude. Yeah. Wow. That's a world record. Didn't even like, know this existed. Oh yeah. My entire life. Got the helmet on. I got to. That a looks like so much fun. I got to get a helmet. You know I'm gonna fuck myself up if I don't get yeah, a helmet. Yeah, please. Sorry. So you had the world class guy. Yeah, yeah. No, it was just something I didn't know about until I was like, "What do you mean?" They're like, "No, this guy's like legit." champion at this i did uh i went out on one of these in uh the uh canary islands because so i'd only done them on lakes and stuff in the canary islands i did it on the ocean and there's waves yeah and you're like oh i'll take this and you go up off, off a wave and just fly and then i just went flying off of oh, it and boy. i was like oh my god and then because there's waves you're trying to make sure people see you so you're like don't fucking kill me oh, when yeah. you get me yeah They'll run right over you. Oh, yeah. That's how people get killed on these. I did this in Mexico in Veracruz years ago, and it was terrifying because I'm like, dude, I'm in Mexico. If I get fucked up here, I'm just going (laughs) to die in Veracruz. Yeah. You don't want to go to no fucking hospital there. Yeah, no. What? (laughs) What, you want to go to a hospital in Veracruz, Mexico? We're we're going to hear from some Veracruz residents. You know that, right? Like our hospitals are fine, Christina. Come down here and get sick, and why don't you find out? Um, I don't want to get sick. Actually, I drank a margarita there, and I had diarrhea for fucking three weeks after that. Well, I should have gone to the hospital. I know. Damn, that shit was bad. Um, so, so what are you gonna do for him? Because now you guys—that's the thing. So he oh, spent Jesus. fourteen on the sea do. Oh my god! That's a lot of money. It's a lot of scratch. So I'm thinking I gotta go like thirty plus for his gift. What a minute! You gotta. That's a lot, babe. Yeah, I know. So I was thinking of a couple things. $30,000 for a gift? I was thinking about it. So I was thinking about getting him like a... A Honda? Bu- I mean... No, like a buggy. Like a like a, like a a hunting buggy thing, but have it mounted with like an M50, like some type <laughs> of automatic weapon, you know? Or... Where's he going to use that? In, I'll just... I don't know. Keep it in Texas. In LA? I, I mean... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so stupid. See? So I can only... All right. There you go. See? Okay. So open that one. Yeah, yeah. The one you're on. Get that for him, right? Oh, boy. So this is uh, it's 15 grand. And then I'll put like guns all around the outsides of it so that <laughs> he can just pick a point and go shoot shit, you know? Okay. I don't... Does he hunt? He's gonna. I think. <laughs> I think Joe would like this. All right, then I'll do it for Joe and I'll get to do something else for Bert. <laughs> I mean, I just don't see Bert hunting. I think he's too sensitive and tender. And also, this is really, really expensive for a gift for a bro. Like, Yeah, the other thing I was wanting to get him is a jet pack. Oh, that, that'd be pretty cool. That's better. Yeah. I mean, it's super <laughs> dangerous and he's really heavy. Do you think he can fly? Really? Uh, there's got to be like. How much are these? Oh, there's one for $44 on no, Amazon. No, Perfect. no, 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 no. What's Jetpack Aviation? Is that the place to go? Are you talking about the ones that they do on the water? Whoa, like that fucking thing. <laughs> what is that? He can't do that. Yeah. I'm sure there's a, a weight limit. Is that for, can you buy these? Is that, like, what is Jetpack? Oh my God. <laughs> K- hit that one, B11 there on the right. On you the right. cannot, babe. The other one. Babe. Jesus, the other one. <laughs> it, it's unclickable. It's unclickable. <laughs> Oh it's my. so expensive. It says price upon private request. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. What about a flamethrower? The Elon Musk flamethrower? Yeah, that's dangerous, though. He's not. They're not. Yeah. They're sold. I mean, they don't make them anymore. I mean, uh, sure, Tom. This is cool. When is this going to end with you guys? I think never. Are we going to cap it? Because eventually, you guys are going to be like six figure gifts that's tight that's what i'm talking about you're gonna be getting each other lamborghinis what what did we say say about lamborghinis ferrari sorry only ferraris ferraris bros only bro gifts only 
You guys are, but you're right. I, I don't, I don't give good gifts. I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, you guys are fucking insane. I, I, what Should is call Leanne, Leanne going to do? Let's call her. I don't have my phone. Um, let me see if she'll answer. Is Leanne upset about the sea do? Cause that's expensive. That, how much he spent 13 K 14. $14,000 on a fucking sea do. Yep. I didn't even know they were that expensive. Let's see if she answers. Fuck. She's got to hate this. Hi, Tom. Hey, Leanne. I'm doing the podcast right now. Um, I just wanted to ask you how yes. you felt about my sea do that Bert got me. <laughs> Fancy gift that. Huh? <laughs> That's pretty Fancy awesome. Gift. I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited. Was it? Are you really excited? Of course. Yeah, that I have. Makes me really happy. Oh, cool. I'm so, and I'm super excited. Honestly, I'm super excited for his birthday because I'm already shopping. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Leanne. Please do me a favor. Nothing that requires garage space or storage. Please. Okay. Please. The bicycle. I've been working around that bicycle. Oh my god. Well, can I tell you two things I was thinking of? Oh, fuck. Leanne, oh, I'm sorry. What? I'm trying to stop it. I was going to get him a hunting buggy with guns modified on the sides so that he could drive. Where do we do that? What would we do with that? Thank Is you. It, just keep where it. Where we live? Well, I mean, just like keep it outside the city, have some fun, you know? And then well, I also. I keep it outside the city. Hey, we had to rename our dog because his name was Sugar when we got him. Because where we live. <laughs> I don't know if a gun totally ATV. Oh my God, Tom! Well, the other thing I'm looking at is a jetpack that, like, he straps what? on, and then no. you could you could like no, 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 please don't do that because you know why he'll hurt himself, and then I have to take care of him. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Hmm. If he gets injured, then I have to take care of him. Let's let's think. Hmm. What about you? Know a, what he would like? What? Here's something he would like. What? He would like. This sounds really stupid, but he would like a table that has like a cooktop in the middle so like eight people can sit around it and cook their own food kind of like, like korean barbecue oh. oh yeah like a benihana type of table yes like it, benihana is like a flat top yeah or like a, yeah uh, but like where would you put that it's like a flame i don't know but i mean well, that's something you can't hurt himself with can we no, can i put guns himself. in drawers in the table <laughs> <laughs> Because I was also thinking, I have a connection to a, a, a special ops guy about getting uh -huh. like a some type of rocket launcher. Oh my God. What would we do with that? Just keep and it in the man cave and if some shit goes down, you know you win. You know what I mean? He's also looking for a bunker. A bunker. Oh. Cool. That would be cool. A bunker would he be kind of dope. bury a bunker in our backyard. Oh, yeah. That, that's actually a good idea. Okay, here's yeah. what you do. You start with like the actual <laughs> construction plans, but then oh. I'll start putting like I'll get the gadgets for it. Oh well, I didn't say I wanted a bunker. I said <laughs> he wanted a bunker. Leanne, this is about Bert. This is about Bert's happiness. Uh, you know how much I do for Bert's happiness? I haven't oh, heard no. much. Because <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, look, we love you. Uh, we'll call oh, you love soon. You love you. And just right, don't, don't, don't be mad when that hunting buggy shows up. All right. Talk to you later. Gotta go. Oh, bye bye. buggy. Tom, he's the most docile man on the planet. He doesn't hunt. Yeah, no, he's going to get into it. When in he sees, LA, when he can't he hunt sees, in LA. When he sees what a 50 caliber does to like, not a person, obviously. But Coyotes like, and shit. There you go. Yeah, and they're like, where'd that thing go? It's Dude, like, it's gone. What if he started rolling around the valley in that thing and like shooting coyotes and shit? Pretty cool. You can, can't you get arrested for that? I don't yeah, think so. you can't just shoot shit. Like cougars no. and stuff, mountain lions I in LA. I think you're fine. I think you're allowed to. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. I read an article. It's said it's okay. <laughs> Stupid. All right, I got to pee. Okay. This episode is brought to you by our partner, Whoop. We all want to make healthier decisions. We want to try to sleep better, eat better, live healthier lives, especially with summer coming right up around the corner here. We don't always know how our body is feeling, how long to work out for, or how much sleep we need. Whoop 
a fitness tracking device that helps solve those questions with its built-in coaching features. You literally have a strain coach and a sleep coach right there accessible by just hitting a button and then that coach will send you messages. Today's a day you need to put more strain. Maybe you need to have a little less strain. You definitely need to have your sleep and that sleep coach is incredible. It'll tell you, go to bed by 10.48 tonight and sleep until at least this time so you can get the minimum amount of sleep you need to feel better and be able to not just feel recovered, but now you can have strain on yourself the next day. I've always been blown away by what the, soup, the Whoop Insight teaches you about your own body. For our listeners, if you've been thinking about giving Whoop a shot, there's no better time than today. You can save 15% off a Whoop with the code YOURMOM. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P dot com and use code your mom at checkout to save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery strain and sleep insights from Whoop. We are supported by Me Undies. Hi, friends. Me Undies believes that comfort is about more than what's touching your skin, it's about feeling comfortable in your skin. That's why Me Undies not only uses sustainable, breathable, soft as heck fabric, but they also give you endless styles to choose from. It's total comfort inside and out. I love MeUndies. I've been wearing them for years. They have the most fun patterns. I love the cuts. I love the boy shorts. It's just a win-win. Never leave your couch again with a MeUndies membership, a monthly subscription that sends new pairs right to your door. Each month, you'll choose fun undies, socks, or a bralette and pick the style and color or print that feels the most you. Fun, right? Plus, enjoy discounted pricing, free shipping, and exclusive early access to new launches. Love your butt and get the membership. To get your 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash mom. That's MeUndies.com slash mom. Good pee break. So good. And I stopped pushing. Yeah. Uh, so and now I just relax and I let the pee come down because you, I was told it weakens your pelvic floor. So I've been practicing just relaxing and pee. Were you used to push? Uh huh. Because I just wanted to get it over with fast. <laughs> and then Drew was like, "That's really bad. That's crazy. You shouldn't push." But I also push out Browns. I I, I have no time for these body functions. It bothers me. That's why I didn't dry myself off for fucking a million years too. You. I mean. And he gets it. He, I, and he gets it. It's it's a time waste. I got shit to do, bro. You can just poop. I can push it out. First of all, I want to thank Nadav. He brought it up on where my mom's at. He goes, well, you tell, tell, you tell. Um, I mean, sometimes when I'm getting ready for the day, I'm like, I'd really like to blast one out before I go, but I don't really feel it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes I do things that my body <laughs> takes signals for browning. So sometimes <laughs> just sitting on the toilet will make my body need to go. Yeah. Or turning on the bidet, give it a little splash. That usually kind of coaxes it out. Yeah. So basically you can induce a brown just because you know you should make a brown. Mm -hmm. And I did not believe him at first. I was like, this is so dumb. Yeah. And then I found myself doing it the other day unconsciously. And I was like, oh, I just did what Nadav said. Because I felt farts coming and I was like, I just want to shit right now. Like, I don't want to fart all day. You know what I just saw? What? I saw a video of a girl. They put uh, Mentos into a girl's butt and then <laughs> and then Coke, you know? So you, you like that Mentos, you know what I mean? The, <laughs> the fresh mac. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, you see it usually like people put it in the bottle and it sprays everywhere. And then her face <laughs> when it was over was like, that wasn't cool. <laughs> where, where is this video? Why don't you share I it mean, with I mean, somebody sent it to me and I just watched well, it. Send it and let's watch it. Well, we'll see it for the live show. Yeah. Save it for the live show. The it's next show one, thing. rather. Um, but what I'm saying is Nadav is not right a lot, uh -huh. but I was like, that, that was valid. Like I can make myself brown and I can also induce it by putting on the bidet and then tickling my bee hole. You know, like it just gives, it stimulates it and then you shit. Yeah. Can you do that? Have you done it? I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously? You already know about the superpower? Stimulating the butthole? Yeah. Yeah. To, but to shit when you know, like I don't have to brown, but I want to brown right now. I mean, I've had that before where I'm like, mm, and then I've run the bidet and it'll, it'll basically open you up. But <laughs> yeah. sometimes- Why haven't we discussed this? This is breaking news. It's a YMH exclusive. I didn't, I didn't think so. Uh, I thought it was exciting. The worst is when you go like, all right, I'm ready. And you sit down and, it's just, <gasps> and, you just hit air, and you're like, damn, I thought I had more there. Really well, that is so disappointing. I agree. It's like you're ready emotionally, mm -hmm. physically, and then you're not ready. What what happens there, Nadav? Does that happen to you? 
where you're like, I sit down and ready around and then it's just a fart. Yeah. I mean, it happens to the best of us. You know, there's, <laughs> you know, the, sometimes you got an empty chamber, but you know, if you do have a bidet, you just keep on going until something does come out. Cause it's something yeah. will come. Something will come. <laughs> yeah. Something's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. The man to your right doesn't do that though. Mm-mm. No. Uh-uh. No. Oh, no. Hell no, 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 no. When 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 it's time for me to go, it's fucking time. Ain't no, ain't no. Uh, blanks, and that, and you, know you, you, when you do go though, is there is there a tug? Are you like, oh, it's today's the day. Like right now is the the, the moment. Uh, well, well, there's like a billion tugs until that point. The, a billion. That, Dude, that day is when it's like, it's time. This will happen. So you, now. Yeah. Oh you are gosh. resisting. All well, the time. it's like oh it, it's automatic, God. dude. Like I'm basically right now. And, and the rest of the day, I'm flexing at all times. At all times, I'm pretty sure that's why my core has always been strong as shit. Like, I, I have a six pack and I don't work out. And my, and my, because of that, my asshole can just, it's just, that shit is tight as shit. You know what I'm saying? I could just, yeah, at all times. So what you're saying is you're, you don't uh, relax <laughs> enough. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Jesus Christ. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge that I knew you were sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ruin it for you. Thank you. Thank you. And you sneeze tagged me. Don't yeah. think I didn't fucking notice that. <laughs> yeah. I would only do it to somebody I really care about. Well, I know. I live in your beard pubes. I get <sighs> sneeze tagged. Oh, that was a good sneeze too. So I did, did I do the, I did the right thing. Yeah. I feel like I just jizzed. You love sneezing more than any human being I know. Mm. I don't. I who enjoys sneezing like that? Do you enjoy sneezing mm-hmm. that much? Okay, whatever. Especially like a reckless open sneeze. You know when you're outside, and you don't even think about covering up, and you're like, ah! and like you just like <laughs> really violently sneeze. God, it feels good. I feel as though I'm indifferent to sneezing. Wow, it feels so good. I like. I prefer a fart or a burp. I'm not. I don't. I sneezing is like. It makes my eyes run, my makeup runs. Ugh. When it comes with like substance too, and you see it fly across the room, it's so exciting. Ugh, euphoric. Anyway, you can do um, whatever you want to me now. Feels so good. Where does sneezing? Uh, where is sneezing on your hierarchy so of good, good feels? Uh, that's Listen. where it spits. <laughs> Give me your good your good feels hierarchy. Like number one is is it eating or jizzing or shitting jizzing. or sneezing? Number one is jizzing. Go yeah. ahead. What's yeah. number two? A feel good. Yeah. Um, shitting, farting, eating when you're really hungry, burping, sneezing. sneezing. It's number two. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then like a really good fart would be three. <laughs> then having like a good scratch you know oh what I mean? yeah like when something it like you have like a your back itches <sighs> and you get like a someone scratches it or even if you find like a you know something to rub up against like a bear you do that every day yeah that feels good i like that sensation back scratch in the morning is the shit wow i'm i'm totally opposite for you i'm gonna go number one well orgasm is always number one right yeah but then a tight second is browning i Jesus. fucking love shitting Ugh. And then I love eating. <laughs> yeah, eat, eating. <laughs> Number three is like eating, and then I make the brown because I've eaten. I like the whole circle of life there. That's kind of cool. Well, as like a super thin guy, I just I've never <laughs> really been into eating. But nothing feels better when you're so hungry and then you eat That's a lot. That's true. That oh, is true. Like I love overeating when I'm super hungry. <sighs> There's nothing better than I'm overeating. still enjoying my sneeze right now. <laughs> just so you know, really. Wait, my favorite is overeating in the in the day and then napping. <sighs> That's how I feel when I sneeze. Napping, oh my god. A a nap that you need on a full stomach? Uh, uh it's the Or best. going to sleep in a cold fucking room with a good no. blanket. That's my favorite. Like the room is like 55. Oh my god. But you have you have a big blanket. See you later. See you in a couple days. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I like to lay in the sunshine and sun my feathers. Oh, and then going to church. That's yeah. my other one. Sorry. <laughs> that's, my, that's number two, I think. Yeah. yeah. You know what I would eat like all... Like hearing a good sermon. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
like receiving prayer and blessings when you need it. <laughs> it feels uh, so good. What would you eat every day if you could, if you didn't have to think about? Every day? Like what could you eat every day? I mean, I'm pretty, uh, I'm into the, the real taste goods, sugar and fat, you know? So oh yeah. I would Donut. have a bacon, egg and cheese croissant. For brekkie. Oh yeah. Like a re like so, you know what I mean? So the, fat. That's like 3,000 calories oh, it's right so there. Fat. It's a whole day. And then <laughs> sugar wise, yeah, like, you know, like donut, like a good donut, sugar donut. Yeah. I like chocolate. sugar, yeah. I'm more cheese oriented. Ugh. And and like, okay, like I'd I do the croissant thing, like you said. Yeah. Oh, but then a side of like pancakes, like sweet sides. Oh my god, waffles. Waffles are the best. French toast. And I then eat that all the time. McDonald's, and then I would go and get a chili dog at Cupid's. Yeah. I fucking love chili dogs. I will stay away from that for, for like so long and then reward myself with like waffles <laughs> or something. That like as the meal, as I finish taking a bite, my stomach's like, you have massive diarrhea. <laughs> like it's immediate. The sugar gives you diarrhea. That's so funny. Yeah. I never, that's interesting. Are you done? Took, what what like, is the burping now? It's because the sneeze was so powerful. It like created gas in me. Uh huh. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's the worst. That's my favorite of all time. Who's grosser though? Coming, Robert Paul Champagne or Ed Asner? Oh, well, you can go side by side. Oh, get off! Uh, uh, uh. It's up to you. <laughs> I actually like it when RPC has an orgasm because I feel like he needs it so bad, badly, bad or badly. I don't know. Needs it so badly. Yeah. Where's Chris Larson? He's I don't know. <clears throat> but like Ed Asner is forever the most disgusting because he's so unaware of how to be cool. And he's like, you know, when my kids were little, I used to, and he's telling stories as he's like cyber jerking with someone. Yeah. I have always found that to be so repulsive. At least RPC stays in care. Like he stays on theme. Yeah. On character. Mm hmm. Like I'm just this gross guy who's fucking horny. Like that's it. That's the right mode to be in. And and the other guy, that guy. I don't like that he switches back and forth. We're like, well, back when I was in the military, we used to <laughs> butt fuck each other behind the barracks. And you're like, shut up. I don't want to hear anything about your life. Oh. See, back I, when my grandchildren were little, and you're like, ugh. I love that guy. That guy's absolutely. That's my favorite guy. Let me see all that dumb. I hate it. I don't like how he talks. I don't like how genuine how he is. Big a load. I'm gonna swallow. <laughs> I could listen to him every day. I oh, like I can it. feel it. <sighs> oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I don't like him at all. <sighs> but is there is there is there nothing creepy about that how literal and how just uncool he is? I, I think it to me it just makes me laugh. Like it really Im immediately makes me laugh. Is he like on the spectrum or something? Like why no, does he he's just know? not savvy. He's not savvy. He's not. He's not sexually sophisticated. He does. You know, he hasn't hooked up with someone in like thirty years. So that's why he's like, "Let me see all that come." <laughs> like he doesn't. <laughs> okay, you come. I mean, that's not somebody <laughs> who, you know, does that often. Okay, you you yeah. come. Like come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So for people that don't know, I'm gonna switch this up here. Um, we. You, we had a sit-in for you a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there a she beautiful is. lady. And she has remained in our lobby. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's one of those things, you know that even when she was <laughs> in your seat, yeah. every time I would walk in there, I'd be like, Jesus, because it looks like a person for a second. Yeah, you know, It just kind of strikes you. So, <laughs> and he came in the other day to do some work at night, and it's, <laughs> <laughs> here, <laughs> watch. He's walking in. Holy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man. Someone will about to die. <laughs> Someone will be about to die. Someone will to die. Oh. She is creepy as shit. He dude. got startled. 
Uh, well, uh, she I didn't like that. At one point, she wasn't wearing enough clothing. So yeah. I had to put on the shirt I was wearing the other day and give her like sweats. Zolo and I dressed her because it was so demeaning. You know what that hoe should be wearing? Uh, slides. You should have <laughs> slides on because hoes wear slides. <laughs> that would totally complete her outfit. You're so cute. And he fully talks to himself. He's like, not today. Not today, motherfucker. Not today. Someone was about to die. <laughs> Let me see it again. How sweet. Is this, is this another angle? I this love one? this. Fuck you. Oh, he's still fired up. <laughs> God damn. That's on the way out. Oh. It's not cool. It's not cool. <laughs> Motherfucker's plates. <laughs> I didn't see this clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is so much like, I mean, I would be talking to myself too. Same. Yeah. How'd you feel, Annie? How does that feel <laughs> watching that? I fucking hate that shit, man. Yeah. It, it's like it never gets normal. I'm still to this day. I walk out and I'm like, fuck. God, it spooked man. the fuck out of you when you walked in, though, right? Like that. <laughs> yeah, well, I I thought <sighs> first. I thought 100. percent I was about to get kidnapped. I was like, this is a Russian mafia. <laughs> yeah. You know the way that they're sitting, it's too comfortable. They're not even like. Like that's someone who's ready. real chill about yeah. fucking being in your building. <laughs> <laughs> to sit on the chair and be like. <laughs> 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 yeah in my head that's a uh, professional yeah exactly I, I was thinking uh i was thinking maybe they were like sleeping or something so i was like i tried to be quiet like i put my hand like i was about to i was like waiting for them to come out and then i realized it was fucking fake and i was mad oh. as shit and i was mad as shit the whole time i stayed there transferring files for like an hour and i was mad the whole the, fucking time the, that you got started yeah i was so fucking mad. i sent them a text i was like you motherfuckers i thought i was about to get fucking amber alerted and shit and you got me fucked up oh, playing that's these so damn games. funny man god that is so funny <laughs> i'm just it, i'm just too reactive to that shit i'm bad with like pranks and like halloween trick-or-treats and they're like yeah. ah, i was yeah. that kid that would like cry because I fucking <laughs> I react so fast yeah, for whatever yeah. reason it's it's instant. Yeah, I don't like for me. I'm I'm not into the prank shit either actually. Uh -uh. I don't like it either. Uh -uh. But um seeing somebody seeing you be like <laughs> The way you talk to yourself yeah, is my favorite cuz oh, I would so talk to myself. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> cool. <laughs> He's got his Look at his oh, shoes. Okay. Yep. Man. Oh, that was great. I love yeah, it. Yeah, he had his host slides on too. Mm hmm. Oh. I can't believe you call them host slides, but they're not. So, because Christina started wearing these host slides the other day. As them whole slides. And this is why I say they're host slides, because like hoes, what they'll do is <laughs> they'll hoe it up. Right, they'll hoe it up to go out, and then even hoes need a break. So what hoes will do <laughs> is they'll go complete polar opposite. They're either in stilettos, like they're in heels, yes. or they're like, my feet need a break. They're either in short skirts with their pussy lips hanging out, or they're like, I'm gonna put some sweats on. Jesus. I need a break. Like that's a hoe right there. She fucks for sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, a hundred percent of the time, I see slides and i see a hoe that's what i see i unreal. see unreal <laughs> unreal what wait till you like hoes are gonna start writing in they're like i'm a hoe and i wear my slides when i need a break sundays i wear slides <laughs> well I, I recharge for the week with my slides on and then i put the heels back on monday well because after i was tina on the last live yeah. show mm -hmm. immediately i put on those dumpy sweats yeah and the dumpy sweatshirt and you're like oh that's what real hoes do that's what hoes do yeah they decompress and they like get strippers and shit they'll yeah. be like put my fucking sweats and my slides on yeah. and let me go home but any you were saying that these are not hoe slides oh so i, I must have got I, I think i was confused because I was like what do you mean hoe because hoe could mean all kinds of things right but it sounds like you're saying hoe in a good way where it's like they just fuck they're they're cool hmm. and they go out you know what i'm saying is, they is party that like yeah, a, okay. a party chick has her she has her going out outfit and she has i'm fucking and it's time for coffee yeah okay you know? okay and yeah that, and that fine ass hoe wears slides <laughs> <laughs> no yeah yeah what, what i thought what she what i thought you meant by hoe was ratchet and so it's like, mm. you know what I'm saying? It's like you're, you're, you're doing too much. And, and oh. the difference with those is that's when you start adding the fucking, the sequins. 
Oh, and, right, and right. And the fur and shit. That's yeah. when it's, now you're getting ratchet. But right, okay, now, yeah, yeah, slide, it could be right. ratchet. It could be a ratchet-ass hoe slide, too. But that's <laughs> that wouldn't be probably those three-stripe Adidas. Like he's saying, they probably have a little fur, a little sequins on I them. I hate the fur slides. The fur ones, I think, are, I don't know. They're kind of... They're disgusting. They so, look, yeah. Gucci, first of all, these are, I believe, Gucci. Nam, nam, nam. Oz, nam, de fur. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Oz? No. Yeah, these are ghetto as fuck, but I'm saying the 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 Gucci ones where you see people With like the fur on the side of it. I see people wearing those and I'm like, dude, you spent like, like that first one there? Like those? Yeah, like you spent a thousand dollars to have your feet smell bad all day, every day. Right, because the fur has to make them sweat and probably holds oh, the sweat. Yeah. Yeah. So are you, do you are you supposed to wear socks with those out no. in the world? Or fuck you no. you wear barefoot and then your feet stink. I mean, it it can't be good. Yeah, those those definitely would hold your sweat. Yeah. Right? I don't understand. I don't understand those shoes. I mean, I mean, it's a fashion choice. Like you wear those in public? That's for but, stinky hoes. Yeah. You know, those different hoes have different slides. Yeah. And that's a stinky ass hoe. Stinky ass hoe. Yeah. Yeah. But I love my hoe slides. Those, uh, any had them first. Mm -hmm. You have the black with the white stripes. And then I got the pink with the red bottoms. Yeah. You got those red bottoms. Those Louboutin. I told Tom I spent $3,000 on them. You're like, what? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, they're Louis Vuitton. That's, that's the thing about those slides, though, especially the ones with the fur is like, that's the point is, is like, yeah, this looks yeah. stupid as fuck, but guess how much I spent? Yeah. Your whole paycheck, nigga, like, <laughs> relax. <Yeah. laughs> He's right. It's like the signal of, of I, I spent a lot of money on these yeah. stupid ass things. I guess. Stupid. I think hoes just need a break, you know? Just need to walk around. <laughs> Give them a little break. Those are great slides. Yeah. Look at, he closed all the windows. It's like going down memory lane. Oh yeah, it's exciting. Let's, let's get a little, let's get a little excitement going on this app. You ready? Okay. Yeah, my chicken case today, I'm driving around. Come on, bitch. Yeah. I asked you about my chicken case today. You didn't get it. Bring your motherfucking ass on. I'll bust your head, bitch. Oh. Right here I am. Shut up or put up. Nice. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat the fuck out of you. That's out of Taco Bell. It's yeah, and cool. he's barefoot, too. He is. He doesn't even have slides. No slides. Nope. Totally Wait, different. Those chicken quesadillas are very good. They're very good, and yes. I'd be mad, too, if and I And a didn't... southern gentleman should be able to get them when that's, he wants. That's right. He's drunk, and he wants his quesadilla. Yeah, he's like, that's I'll bust cool. your ass <laughs> out of here. Yeah, pretty cool, man. <laughs> Uh, this um that's good this will make this will you'll enjoy this is out of did you fart did i fart no nope i didn't this is out of canada okay. um it's victoria my, my motherland british columbia to be specific there has been an explosion of taggers putting up some pretty gross graffiti around victoria <laughs> it's the choice of words that's notable making some laugh others well not so much Corey sidaway has more yeah tell us the story they're painted in locations across Victoria. Words some may find too crude for a capital city. It's pretty gross. I mean, it's kind of disrespectful. Others find it amusing. <laughs> I think it's a bit funny, but I also don't care. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. These kind of tags are popping up all <laughs> over Greater Victoria. Pubes and Bay anus. Is living up to its Big name Texas at this location. <laughs> Big Texas comer. <laughs> That's what I nailed it. The men behind the tag say it started out as an inside joke back in 2018. There's really no meaning behind the word as far as, like, it was just something we both thought was funny. And if any of us had a marker or spray paint, we would just write it on that building. And eventually the city or some local hero would come and paint it over and we'd come back the next day and do it even bigger. A joke to some. A frustration to others. I mean, Canada's the best. I'm in full support of these guys. This is art, you guys. That was fantastic. I hope shout my children. Shout out to BC. Shout out to Victoria. Shout out. Big Texas comer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope our children do this kind of stuff. I'm about to be a big Texas comer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, first of all, anus is a medical term. So if yeah. you're offended by anus, you need to get your entire life. I think they were more like, why is anus written on the side of this building? Because it can be. It's fun. It's yeah. a good time. Shit, yeah. birds. Gosh, just enjoy the fun. That's true. Yeah. I'm going to, I would pay them to continue this. 
Yeah, I would too. I also, nothing makes me happier when I see dicks drawn on billboards yeah. and stuff. A tag. A tag. We tagged this. Yeah, they're so it. Canadian. Yeah. So cute. Um, do you remember a few weeks ago, we featured a dad who wanted to date ladies? And we were yeah. just like, you just need like a, yeah. kind of a better video out. Yeah. He released another video. It's not, doesn't mention us or anything, but it's just, I think he's getting a little better. Okay. And he, he's sweet. He just wants to date. You know, like, um, he wants to be a big Texas comer, like, yeah, yeah, he wants to be a big Texas comer. Let me see, can I find the uh, big Texas? His, comer. Oh, yeah, here's his original, so I think. Here, okay, ladies, this is him, dad, dad bod, right? You see it, single, still looking, putting myself out there. Ladies, don't just scroll by, yeah. say hello, stop. If you're within, oh, 100, 150 miles <laughs> so of Fort Riley, Kansas, s send me a message. Okay. We can hook up. We can get together. I'll find you. Yeah. Okay. He'll find you. 150 so, mile radius. <laughs> Annie, now, is that too long to go for a hoe? He says, is that too long to go for a hoe? 150 miles. Oh, 150 miles. That's, That's a few hours of driving, man. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the hoe, I guess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. The slide hoe. I mean, if she got that bomb pee, you know what I mean? Then maybe you want to drive. You drove all the way to Pasadena for me. I sure did. Uh, here's a. Uh, here he is with his new video. You ready? Okay. Okay, ladies, I'm back again. Listen, Better I got angle. homemade meatballs in the oven. I had just finished making my spaghetti sauce. Takes eight to ten hours to make. Um, okay. I'm in. I'm making spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tomorrow, and I have two bottles of wine, so actually three. So if any of you ladies are interested, give me a holler. Bye-bye now. He's it. This is the kind of shit I want. This, seriously, real talk, like you're dead. Let's say you die. I'm a single woman. I'm on the scrolling. This is the offer I want. This is 100% who I'm looking for. Yeah. I'm cooking fucking spaghetti sauce, eight to 10 hours. I got wine. This is perfect. Yeah. I mean, a uh, couple things we'll say. First of all, I, I like that you went to me being dead. You have to be dead in order um, for me to date. That's how I see it. We're not divorcing, so you have to die first, and then I get I did. Wait, why are we not divorcing? We're never divorcing. Because? Because no fucking hoe is going to raise my kids or take my stuff. <laughs> I loved you when you were fucking okay. broke. Okay. I was real, love. The ho second hoe is not real. She's just in when everything's great. I loved you in the beginning. I loved you in the beginning. Okay, so I'm dead in your hand. All right, so uh, um, first of all, better angle. I love that we didn't know <laughs> if he had a ceiling fan, and now we do. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Confirmation. Confirm the ceiling fan. Better angle, horrible setup. I mean, yes. I just feel like I wouldn't feature the bedroom with the mirror behind you. Bad setup. Great message. Great message. By the way, Anyone that takes eight to 10 hours to make a sauce, I respect and I want to hang out with. Commitment. If you're inviting me, like I'm coming over. Yeah. For for the fucking 10 hour Bro, sauce. Bro, I'll bring the garlic bread. Homie. Yeah. I'll bring the shaky cheese. He's like, I had two bottles of wine. I actually got three bottles of wine. He's like, Boom. you want to get fucked up and yeah. eat some spaghetti with me? You can get faded. Yeah. That's what's up. And I'll turn the fan on. We can fuck under the fan. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Now, here's what I would have done stylistically. Yeah. I would have done the video in my kitchen over my sauce and been like, what's up, ladies? And I would open it and I'd be like, you see that? That's a great note. You see that? That is a great That's note. your fucking sauce. I'm going to put this sauce all over your pussy. Yeah. And I'll be like. Okay, ladies, I'm back again. Yeah. He's really trying. I just I think like also, him. where is he posting these? Because I don't Where are we getting these from? <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah, they're just being sent in. But we don't know what this, like, is it just an MP4 or is it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just a, an attachment of a, <laughs> of a movie file. We got to find out where he's posting. Yeah, we'll see uh, if we can dig up some background. Oof. I love him. Good. And he's good looking enough. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'd fix the glasses. Those are I actually feel, feel like you're, you're pretty into this guy. I mean, if I have to choose from the Midwest, where is he in Kansas? Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, he's pick of the litter. Wow. I mean... Do you have any idea how quickly this guy would put a hit on me hearing you say this shit? 
No, I don't want that to happen. Oh, shit. I mean, he said, you know, you said I got to be dead. Well, no, I know. I, I take it back. Dad. I feel like I you really like him. You. No, I mean, if, if I lived in the Midwest, I said if I was living in Kansas or whatever. You're about to and, be pretty close. No, I live in Tejas. It's different. And okay. this is my option, this guy. Yeah. Because you have to understand, in the Midwest, everybody gets married at like young. Yes. And they have kids. He's and a everything. single dad. He said it before. So it's very rare. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's tough. Um, yeah, you're right. It's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, he's got his hair. He's got hair, yeah. I mean. I don't. It's okay. You super bummed out about that? Don't. He's, look at him. He's mapping out how far Austin is from Kansas. Yeah. No, I'm not that into him. It's a 10 hour drive. It's easy. 10 hours. <laughs> 10 hour drive. I'll drive you. Want to go? <laughs> I'll pull up. Hey, buddy. Toot, toot, toot. Honk the horn. <laughs> Where's that spaghetti sauce, bro? Can I eat and then I'll leave you guys? <laughs> I just want that spaghetti he's talking about. I'm down with that. Yeah. Why don't you make me some fucking spaghetti? You know what this really boils down to? I want you to make me spaghetti. Could you cook for me? Hey, my birthday's coming up. My Smurf day. That's what you want? I want you to cook some, some dope shit for me, bro. Some bomb ass spaghetti? Bro. Yeah. Okay. You used to cook b b before we got married. That's true. Yeah. What was it that you used to make? I made me? you the penne alla vodka. Yeah, do that. You want that? And you you cook chicken really well. You know that? Yeah. Usually chicken breast tastes like a dry pussy, but yeah. the way you make it, it's so good and juicy. Mm -hmm. I wish everybody could try your chicken tits. <laughs> okay. Nick. Good uh, chicken tits. We are supported by Headspace. Wouldn't it be great if there were a pocket-sized guide that helped you sleep, focus, act, be better? There is. And if you have 10 minutes, Headspace can change your life. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations in an easy to use app. I'm telling you, I've been using Headspace since we've been doing this move just to calm myself down and embrace the change. That's what I do. I do embracing change. <laughs> Whatever the situation, Headspace really can help you feel better. Are you overwhelmed? Headspace has a three minute SOS meditation for you. You deserve to feel happier and Headspace is meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash mom. That's headspace.com slash mom for a free one month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. This is the best deal offered right now. Head to headspace.com slash mom today. How about a little game we call horrible or hilarious? Okie doke. Come ready? ready. Let's see what happens. I haven't seen any of these. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I do it. No fuck with animals. Nope. This ain't going well. This is going to get real funny real quick. <gasps> I liked it. <laughs> That was amazing, and he deserved it. I, you know, that could kill you. -uh. Sure can. Sure can. Absolute. The trunk, really? 100%. Yes. I didn't know how, how strong are elephants. Now, usually, like, actually, elephants kill way more people than, like, wild cats. You know, big -uh, cats? Really? Yeah, yeah. But the way they normally do it is with the top of their head. So what they'll do is they'll charge you, and then they'll just crush you with their head kill you like Damn. that. Damn. Yeah, but that trunk could definitely fuck up your Let me see it again. I want to see him get fucked up again. Ooh. So for those of you just listening, this guy's getting swatted by an elephant's trunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's like, I'm going to pet like, him. Ugh. Yeah. Well, see, the guy's move. Like, he's the, the elephant's Get the fuck out of there, idiot. <gasps> and that was a, that was a headshot. That's stupid. Yeah. That what a, a fucking, you know what. TikTok. Yeah. Dude, he was looking down, too. He was like, Oh, that's fine. He doesn't know what happened. He doesn't know what happened. Dude. Holy shit. And that knocked him a few feet, man. <laughs> that's not like a guy who can throw a punch. <laughs> it's a fucking elephant. Jesus Christ. But I don't like when people mess with animals. You yeah, me neither. You get. I know. Don't fuck well, with them animals. Speaking of. I know. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you dipshit! Mm. What do what is? So he put he had a fish in his mouth, and he was bending down in a, a tank. And what was he trying to feed? I don't know what that. What was what that? What is he that? He was eel? trying to feed one of those bigger fish. Was that an eel or what is that? No, it's it's just one of those big fish. 
and then it knocked them out. That's your that's your that's your description of the fish, a big fish. Well, it's a bit. I don't know if it's an eel. It's just one of those big fish. Let's see it again. Maybe we can figure it out. Hey, uh, Jose Andres, can you make hummus? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, right. I heard about that. <laughs> oh, like, he asked a world class chef, like, can you make a Caesar salad? <laughs> in the dog's defense yeah. he was mortified that he did it and he told me about oh, it oh he did after it happened I came in after you did your yeah. Tom talk with yeah. Jose Andres and he's like dude I'm such a fucking idiot <laughs> yeah I felt dumb for a full like three days <laughs> <laughs> oh that was the best you want to see this again yeah I'm curious oh it's one of those big fish oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck oh. Unconscious and in the tank. Dude, pull him out, bro. He died. Nuh uh. No, he didn't die. He was fucking around. He comes out and like, and he goes, hey. Nah, he's not. I swear. I swear. You swear to me? I swear. Why didn't you guys put the end of the video on there? I don't believe you. I said in this video, why didn't you put the end of it? Oh, I thought that was the end of it. No, he comes out. No, you're lying. The kid comes out. I, I sent in the video. You being serious? Yes. I swear to God. Oh, well, I guess uh, Zola didn't see the end of it. How could you not see the end of it? It's a fucking, like, 10-second <laughs> video. Here, I caught them in this lie. Make that big. Oh, my God. Play that. Oh, yeah. So here's the video. Oh, my God. 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 Somebody get him. Oh, oh. <laughs> What a dick. See? And then they lied and said that I wasn't there. Oh. Fucking liars. So there's that one. You all right, Tom? Hmm? I just, I don't like, I don't like. I don't think they lied to you. I... That's what happens when you lie. So here's the uh, oh third my one. Gosh. <laughs> what is going on today? You know, you were thoroughly milked last night. I don't know why you're fired up. I'm not fired up. You're not? You're okay? Totally. I just, okay. you know. So here's the. <laughs> here's. <laughs> Going off the rails. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh fuck. I am not on. <sighs> Can I tell you when I was a little kid, I did something very similar. Yeah. I was jumping off a diving board, and I was I used to do back, and saying that. Mm -hmm. I went up. Back, hit my head on the diving board, and then into the water. I did a thing Fuck. where I jumped, turned, jumped, and went, like, turned. So I, I was, uh, off the diving board or off the side no, of the pool? No, off the side. So I was, uh, I was facing the pool. Oh, I just got the chills. Facing the pool, and I jumped this way, and when I landed in the water, I hit my chin on this side. Oh, I just got the cut chills. Open, yeah, yeah, pouring yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah. This shit's so dangerous, dude. Yeah. <sighs> That was horrible. Thank you for showing us that. <laughs> horrible. That one actually freaked me out. I don't like kids. It's, I'm sure he's young. Yeah, and, and that's, that's real head trauma. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. Thank but you for sharing. I feel like the elephant could, could be more head trauma. Oh, I don't know. I think Nadab is too afraid to say anything. Why? I don't know. I'm afraid I'm going to be called a liar or something. <laughs> <laughs> They they hid the end of that other video, so I was okay. Kind of, I thought that was ridiculous. You know what? We're under a lot of stress. We're moving <laughs> to Texas right now, and Tom and I have just been trying to hold. We've been living in hotels and with the kids, and I've been uh, taking Xanax every night. Have you drinking alcohol? Well, I'm s severely stressed out. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm moving is probably the worst thing you can do, right? And it's horrible. Texas, it's a very different culture from. I don't know what, what to expect. I'm, I'm very much. A, I'm, I'm a small dog. I, what, I like my small dog Let life. Let me ask you this: What happens if we move there? And like, I hate it. Yeah, like it's like around New Year, and you're like, we've got to go back to California. <laughs> then we go to California. No, no, sorry. I meant we stay in Texas for another ten years, eighteen years, until our kids are grown. What? We can't ruin their lives and right. these people's lives. We summer in L.A. <laughs> summer in L.A. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just I'm full of anxiety. Yeah. What do we do? Uh, I don't know. I know. You just have to, you know, go through it. I think it's going to be great. Of course it's going to really be do. great. 
I really do. These girls do too. Right, my friends, I'll have to do a wee shout out for Jamie Lee Weir, who's up in the muse. Jamie Lee, say hello to everyone. Hello, everybody. I got a cap lock in there. Yeah. yeah. That's our wee Jamie Lee. I don't understand what the fuck. It's English. What the fuck was happening? That's in Belfast. Oh, I love it. I love Jimmy Lee. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it, though. I like it. sounds like they were having fun. Yeah, they're having a good time. I don't understand a fucking word. Yeah, I don't get Jimmy this... Lee and the hello. Oh, Jimmy Lee, I don't like her haircut. Hello, everybody. I got a cup locked in there. I heard hello, everybody. That's what she says <laughs> at the beginning of that, right? Let me hear it. Hello, everybody. I hello, everybody. I got a cup locked in there. Gonna we get, get block and A. I don't know. Gonna get a block and A. I, I can't make out most of it. Right, my friends, I'll have to do a wee shout out for Jimmy Lee Weir, who's up in the muse. Jimmy Lee, say hello to everyone. Hello, everybody. I got a cup block and A. Yeah. That's our wee Jimmy Lee. Huh? Wow. It's crazy that that's English. That's what you speak. That's the language that you speak. You speak fluent what they're saying. English. Oh, I thought you meant you mean call me R word. No. That's English. That's wild. And I don't like that girl's haircut. It's bad. She's got the, the Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> She's sweet, but that's not a good haircut. She looks like she got the haircut my mom got a yeah. few years ago. <laughs> yeah. See? It's 100% Lloyd Christmas. Lloyd Christmas. I like Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee? Yes, what she's. I mean, it sounded like she Jamie said Lee. That. Like, uh, cause she looks like they're having fun. Like they're going to they're go drinking or something. Maybe they're having or... a great time. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Uh. You okay. Yeah. I burped again. Yeah. It's still from that. I think it's still from that earlier sneeze bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lena Dobbs terrified of you. Why? You called him a liar. Cause the end of the fucking clip wasn't there. I'm sure it's just a, it was a mistake, accident, babe. You think he deliberately concealed the second half of the clip? Why would he do that? I don't know. Everyone has their own motives. I don't know. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm fully behind you. Yeah, you fucking concealed the clip, Nadab. Yeah, sorry about that. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm just a sneaky J, and I'm just doing sneaky J stuff. I guess. Yeah, we didn't even think of that. Is it, are we blaming Judaism for this one? <laughs> All this will end once I convert to Christianity. Yeah. <sighs> That's a good way to look. That's a good spin. I like it. You think it's has Jewishness? No, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Oh. I just, you know, I just don't know why you would deliberately cut out the end of that clip. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable when you do this, Tom. <laughs> like, I'm so uncomfortable right now. Everyone is? You too? You guys are upset? Yeah. Just a teensy bit. <laughs> God. Okay. It's like I don't know what to do. Really? Yeah, the codependent in me is like I have to fix this. I have to ameliorate relationships here. Does it remind you of your new favorite TV show, Couples Therapy? Oh, it's the fucking best. That, by the way, it's the I best. didn't expect that I would enjoy. Like when oh. it started, I was like, hmm. Because I thought it would be, I don't know. I didn't think it would get into, like, into the weeds with the couples where you got to, like, really really hear issues yeah. i saw it would be tv version which would be kind of Suck. lighter i was good can i tell you it's it's it goes deep i want to watch the full hour sessions i know every one of them i know i i would just watch a therapy and then you see the therapist going to her therapist or her oh. like her whatever her mentor can i tell you like i said there needs to be a dedicated channel to mm -hmm. just people in therapy and, and there's you this watch really their fucking sessions. interesting thing because there's a couple and it shows you that whatever context you see somebody in, what, uh, what you're shown will inform your opinion. Mm. So like the guy, in, like the man and the woman that first start episode one, this guy is like, I, I don't really think I, I'm, I'm that needy. I want zero responsibilities and I want sex whenever I want. I just don't want to ever, and I want to be taken care of without having to ask. And you're like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> so like you go like, this guy's a fucking, just an aloof douchebag. Yeah. And then by the second session, you hear him saying something totally different. So then your opinion of him changes. Yeah. You know, because you, you, you hear him talking about like how crazy he is about her. And then she comes around and is like, I thought he was a sex addicted asshole, but really he's just like so crazy. I mean, he has a, an insane sex drive, but 
He wants sex every day. They've been together 23 years. I know. 23 years is nothing to to piss on. No. So they have been holding it together, but every day he's like, I need it. I need it. Come on, Mark. I need it. I need, like, yeah. I need to eat. I need to exercise. Yeah. I need to come every, every day, day every with day. you. Like, he can't yeah. just masturbate. And he said, uh, he said that he's like, if we had sex yesterday, he's like, that was great. Yesterday, but today's a new day. That's wild. That's... She's like, I can't keep up with this fucking guy. And I was like, do they have kids? No way. They haven't, that hasn't come up yet. We don't know. Dude, if it hasn't, if there's no way every day when you have like children and life, mean, they must be childless. Every day to I don't fuck? Know. But it's true. Once you hear people's reasonings for things, you go like, oh, that's not so crazy. When you really start to listen to their reasons for shit, you know, you go like, oh, okay, I get that. I don't think that way. No. But I I can get it. Like, But the show is good. It's so good. And I want to watch. And we saw it on Amazon Prime, but I think it was a Showtime show. It's a Showtime show that's on Amazon Prime. It's called Couples Therapy. It's fucking good. And you can see real couples. Like really, really in it. And like you see, I mean- you see ones that are like really bickering. You see ones where you go like, I don't think this is resolvable. Like, yeah, there was one couple. So the woman, yeah, <laughs> this is the best. There's the guy in that blue shirt in the top left. That's the, dude who's the like, fuck monster. I want to fuck every day. And like, she planned his birthday, and oh, he was yeah. see there. They don't have kids. If she's planning yeah, yeah. his fucking birthday and yeah. shit, come on. And he, she's like. I arranged a threesome and all that stuff. And he's like, I'm not in. I don't want to do that. That was your fantasy of a birthday. Yeah. I went and he went to Italy. Alone. Without her. He's like, give me my passport. And he went to Rome. That's strange. It was, that's how it starts. You're like, what? Yeah. So who knows what the, we'll, we'll find out more. So there's this other couple. They've been together for 11 years. <laughs> and uh, the woman wants constant communication with the husband, even when he goes to work. And she's upset because she wants to call him like 11 times a day. And, and to chit-chat. connect on something. Chit chat, like, yeah. I'm thinking about this. And like, oh my God, I, I got this new Tupperware. Do you want to hear about that? And he's like, dude, I'm at work. I have a don't call me policy because yeah. uh, otherwise you will. So then she texts me instead and that's infuriating. And then by the time I get home, she won't tell me anything because by then she's so resentful. Yeah, she's like, I don't. She's like, I don't have anything to share. Yeah. And I'm so funny because like I, I understand because women are very like we text all day. We're chit chatty. My, yeah. my female friends and I. Yeah. If women understood that men are not women. Yeah. I think their lives would be a lot easier. Your man is not your girlfriend. Right. He doesn't. Men see work as like the fucking priority. Yeah. It is. It is. It is the most important thing. It's so, crazy to. Like that, that woman, I mean, I totally identify with the guy. You know, he's like, he's like, I'm at work. Why are you bothering me? Yeah. I'll talk to you when he's like, then I come home and she doesn't want to engage. Because she's resentful that he's not been a a privy to every conversation. He's like, 20 times a day at work. That's way too much. And then, and then he's like, when I told her none of that is just texting. and And she wants to like keep the conversation going. He's like, what the fuck? You know? So the therapist was like, she needs to feel connected that way yeah. through constant contact. And he's just like, I'm a guy. I have yeah. to like dial in, focus on my and work. And just let me go to work. Let what me go. Time? And then when I come back, we can talk about And like knitting. he said, he goes, is there an emergency? Like, no, I just was thinking this right now. He's like, what the fuck? I'm yeah. at work. I don't know. The show's good. I liked it. I got I wrapped just, into it. You guys, there are any... You've, ladies do you talk to your lady throughout the day does she text you all day um no not throughout the day but but i mean my girl's different like she uh she works just as hard as i do and that it's just as important to her so i mean it's different but uh most like my exes yeah they they try to like but all it's the day same. it's like this is business but they don't get mad about it I, i've never had a girl who's like you didn't talk to me after work all day. It's like, sh- yeah. what? We're done. Like that. <laughs> if that was a yeah. com- if that was a genuine complaint, it's over because you obviously don't understand. Yeah, like my that's priorities. a grown up thing. That, that's the thing that's weird about yeah. that one. That it's weird that that lady is an adult. She's in her forties. Yeah, you and don't she's know. like, yeah, I'm just trying to talk. Like he's at an insurance job. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's hustling. He can't socialize. And then she's like, what really got me is she goes because he's an insurance broker. Broker. Yeah. And he and she goes, 
Yeah, but there are guys with bigger positions than you, like the CEO, who will take calls from their wives. And I was like, is that a slight on it's his sure, position? Sure. Yeah, it kind of feels like it, right? Yeah, I was like, why are you shitting on what your man does? Like, be proud that he yeah. fucking works. And dude, then and he's like, well, yeah, when I become a CEO, then I'll take your call. Like, you know. Yeah, like he's he's hustling, bitch, to try to, I don't know. It's crazy. She seemed kind of off. Yeah, that, that, that really didn't make sense to me. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go. Boomer got the vax. What? The boomers got the vax. Boomers got the vax. Boomers got the vax? Well, boomers got the vaccine, but I don't know who boomer is. I don't either. Are y'all not Are y'all not boomers? Oh, oh, baby fuck. boomers. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, it's a little yeah, slow yeah. this morning. Oh, no, no. Mick, is not, Mick is not a baby boomer. Bob and I are baby boomers. No, yes. I'm a baby boomer. Anybody born from 1946 to 1965 is a baby boomer. Look at that oh. bod. Look at the bod on that guy. No. Yes. <laughs> So this is my new favorite TikTok account. It's at old gays. Mm -hmm. And it's a group of old gay men who live together. And then this one younger person TikToks them. It's great. And it's so great. That's yeah. great. They're so funny. Yeah. Boomer. Boomer. Boomer got Boomer. the vax. Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer got the vax. Throw it. Holy shit. Oh so for those of you just listening, that's a toddler, I would say a two-year-old, throwing a live mouse at a huge boa constrictor to feed it. And it says, her first feeding, like yeah. kitty, baby's I mean, that's first. like a fucking rat, right? A rat, rat. Yeah. yeah, sorry, not a mouse, a rat. Yeah, and that little kid was carrying it. Holding it live and then throwing it. And that fucking snake is on a carpet. Like, is that... Where snakes like to be on carpeting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a good one, though. It's wild, right? It's a really good time. <laughs> good. I mean, that was like, just seen a, like, that's like a fucking, looked like an 18 month old kid. Coming yeah. In there, like with the toddler wad, waddle, you know? Yeah. All <laughs> bow legged and shit. Fuck. Dude, I would not let my kid. That kid's that. used to seeing that. That's why I was so used to being, like, so able to do it. Yeah. I mean, most little kids would scream. If you're like, hold this rat and throw it at the snake. Yeah, because they're cool parents. Yeah. Let them be near Boomer. boa constrictors. Boomer? Boomer got the vax? Boomer got the vax? <laughs> hey, man. You know what? If I met a foreign person, I'd love to give that person a handshake and God bless them no matter what. Am I right or wrong? Can you help? And they say Americans are xenophobic and hateful. This guy would give you a hug and welcome you to Alabama. Do you think, uh, is that where he is? I don't know, dude. Yeah. I'm just making assumptions here. Do he drinks a lot? Oh, he's the ghost of future is the opening clip. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his eyes are all wonky. Yeah. He's got wonky eyes, which is fun. Yeah. He's got a ceiling fan, but it's not on. It's not on. It's a cool stain. <laughs> yep. Good video. <laughs> now. Uh -oh. <laughs> so this is a guy on vacation in Latin America. Oh, what's he doing down there? Just... Enjoying the culture, enjoying the food, yeah. you know, stuff. He looks like it. Looks same like shit a guy. my dad would do when he went to. Yeah. Just like the way they are. I like the nice people. Nice people. Yeah. Cool. Barefoot in the streets with a dog leash on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably a pretty cool guy. <laughs> hey, Sunday fun day, baby. Fuck. Sunday time is family time, baby. There's nothing important than Sunday. Sunday time, baby. Family time, baby. It's important. <laughs> Forget your business or your work or whatever you do. You got to spend time with your family. It's fucking Sunday, baby. <laughs> Fuck. Sunday time is family time. <laughs> Fuck, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Church. Brunch. 
you know, shopping, whatever, the beach. It's fucking Sunday. Do Got the it. hell you want. It's Sunday. Forget your business or whatever. Or your work. Family time is important. Sunday time is family time, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I know people that know this guy. Crazy Lokes? No, no. Who was this guy? I don't, I don't forget his name, but I know people that know him. You know people that know him. Yeah, I, we've played him before, and people have hit me up. Like, I know, who, I know who that is. No way. Yeah. Does he do? Does he go to church? Does he go shopping? Fuck. Whatever. Yeah. Beach. Fuck. Sunday. Family. Fuck. Do with your family. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Yo, where are the goth girls that hit me up on Facebook? Why ain't any goth girls fucking hit me up on Facebook? That's what I like. Okay. I'm goth, former goth, recovering goth. Well, no. Are you gonna hit him up? Well, here's the thing: is that you know nobody puts the call out for goth chicks anymore. Yeah. So I like the throwback. It's like give me some fucking respect. Yeah. This could be like, what if you like got back into goth? If you hit him yeah. up, yeah. You would. Would I hit him up? Sure. I'd have to see more lighting. I have to see what's happening with those teeth. And I just need to know more about Satan's child, 6666666. 420! But he's into 420! <laughs> Super cool, man. Hi. Uh, I want to sing a song. I'm going to sing it for you. Uh, but it's another request. And the request is from Jamie. She wants me to sing about COVID 19. So the name of the song is uh, Jamie COVID 19. And well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie wants to go get a shot. Jamie wants to go get a shot. Jamie wants to go get a COVID nineteen shot. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, have you seen anything like that before? I really didn't like that. Well, that's part of the roller coaster of the talks. Some you love, some you don't. Just put that in the don't for me. Okay, potato, potato. I enjoyed it. Really? Well, it's different. He's got a nice bed, so this is why this is unusual, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't fit because he's of a good socioeconomic status. Seems like it. He's not homeless. Like, what? what's going on? Laying down is always an interesting choice <laughs> to make videos. You know, we talk about holding the camp, but like when you lay yeah, down. Yeah, it's the most interesting choice to lay down. Shirtless, too, is yeah. always prime. Harley Quinn. What do you think you're doing, Harley Quinn? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I just love seeing you so upset over the talks. Uh, nothing makes me happier when you could go. Have you seen the Harley Quinn movie though? It's no. very good. Is it good? I liked it. I like her. I like her character. I like how. That's her uh, Margot attitude. Robbie. Oh, she's fantastic. She's a great actress. She's really, really pretty too. Yeah. So there's actually a difference between cuckolding and hot wifing, and I'm here to explain the two. Oh, cool. Welcome to this unique side of TikTok that you never thought you'd probably stumble on. So in a hot wife relationship, you have a woman who has sexual relationships with other men with the husband's full consent. A husband enjoys seeing his wife pleasured by other guys because he can't fulfill a certain need for her. Out in public, she enjoys attracting men's attention with her husband around. And there's a few ways you can spot her. She usually has the sluttiest outfit on at the bar and she's flirting outrageously with everybody. She'll usually have a charm bracelet on with pineapples or a queen of hearts. That lets you know she's in the black eyes. In a cuckold relationship, the woman is the dominant. She usually humiliates the husband by sleeping with other men and he has no say so. Like hot wifing, the cuck sees himself as the inferior lover. He can't fully pleasure his wife, so she seeks out alpha male. They call them bulls. Hit that like and follow button if you want to hear more. Cool, man. Like Have cool you story. ever heard of this lane? I uh, did not hear of this lane, but it's really fascinating. <laughs> I, I, will, I wish I could know more i think you just need to hit that follow button and you asking can asking for a friend yeah what and what well just get some pineapple charms <laughs> pineapple charms, or queen of hearts how yeah. specific it seems very specific yeah how much would it arouse you for us to start hot wifing not at all <laughs> i'd be so fucking out i'd be out 
What do you mean? Uh, that does not interest me in the least. Why? I mean, I don't know. Do you want to see me just plow chicks? <laughs> no. Why not? I, I might have to be institutionalized. Like, I would be... I think if you wanted to break me, that's how you would break my spirit. Really? It's like having sex with other people in front of me. <laughs> Just tie you up and make oh you watch it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's coming. I would never come back. <laughs> I'd just be like, Mark. I kind of want to see this. <laughs> God, Tom is definitely on one today. <laughs> like, have you strapped down in one of those things? Oh, like my that? God. What is that clockwork, clockwork orange, orange style? Like, like, uh, uh, and you're just like, I love this chick. I just bring this chick on a leash. I'm like, watch this shit. Oh, God. Oh, oh. And then I see you. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's me watching you have sex with other women. Uh, mm. Ultra violence. Yeah. Oh, God. We can try it. If you want to try I'd it. I'd like to, yeah. What is it? Is there an opposite? There must be a hot husbanding. I'm sure, yeah. And the uh, there's wife a, there's is like a term cool. for it. Yeah, there's a term for Guys it. Guys are so cool about this stuff. Interesting. You want to do it? I'd rather kill myself than hot wife. I, I really can't think of anything that would be less appealing. No, I can. Uh, I, um, sex clubbing. You know, when couples go yeah. to sex clubs and then they have sex with like strangers Here's in public. Thing. I That's feel like crazy town too. Pretty much everybody that does this is gross, though. Yeah. No, I mean like physically unappealing. <laughs> it's like the the lady who was like, "Don't you just love when your <laughs> boyfriend gets a text and you know he's got somebody new and you're like, ugh, like they're so unattractive." You know what? And that's like that's like. When you watch like, when you see a swinger thing in a porn, you're like, ooh, that's pretty hot. And then you watch real sex and you're like, who's this pig? They're always like, grody. Yeah, it's always like the grossest people. Well, I wonder like, because that's a really sweeping generalization to make in the NRE polyamory <laughs> community. <laughs> that they're gross? They're all gross? Yeah, that's true. They're not all gross. They can't all be gross. No, they're gross, not all gross. But the vast majority we've they're seen mostly gross. are disgusting. That's the name of the club. Mostly <laughs> gross. <laughs> The name of the sex club. It has to be. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because, well, when you think about just the general population of humans in the first place, mm -hmm. like very few people have the, the pro point of personal privilege of just being attractive, right? Like yeah. that in and of itself. Is rare? Is rare. So then you, you even narrow that pool down. Yeah. Into like super hot bod, super hot face. It's tough. It's, it's tough. just it's a numbers game. Yeah. It's a numbers game. It totally is. All right, I guess we won't do it. You're not into hot wifing? I guess not. I wanted to try it, but now you're being total fucking swear fucking about bitch. it. bitch. You're supposed to get uh, mad at me. Uh, oh, come uh, on. Stop. God, All right. Uh, don't forget. <laughs> Check out the... What is happening today? <laughs> We're just on another dimension. <laughs> Check out the show that we Goodness shot gracious. in West Palm Beach, Florida. It is at ymhstudios.com slash rentals. Uh, a lot of work went into this. Live audience, a whole lot of fun. And um, yeah, please check it out. Super it's fun. It's available this, starting this Friday, uh, May 14th. So give it a look, you Lou. And don't forget to, if you want to see us live, Christina's touring, Christina P. Online. Dot com. Check out our tour page, tomsegro.com for mine. And uh, hit the store, if you would, store.ymhstudios.com if you want to check out the new hot merch. We're going to close on another classic. This is Just Like the Gays by DJ Boy Butter. <laughs> You're my son. I'm your mom. You're my son. I'm your mom. Ask them, will you... Ask, ask, ask them, will you, you get your mom... Yes, I would. You're my son. I'm your mom. It's just like the gays. It's just like, just, 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 it's just like the gays. I looked at her and she looked at me. And... It's just like the gays. Once in a while he calls me mom, you know what I mean? 
the bold consenting adults. Ask them, will you? Ask, ask, ask them, will you? I looked at her and she looked at me. And... You're my son. I'm your mom. It's just like the gays. It's just like, just, just, just. It's just like the gays. Ask them, will you? Ask, ask, ask them, will you? You. It's just like the gays. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these were my hands gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.